Rails, da kommt schon quasi am Kolobi in Diskussion mit dir und die important drug investigations one needs to do when they are COVID positive, uh, COVID-19 positive patients. Uh, the, the investigations we normally do to diagnose COVID-19 are two types. Either we do RT-PCR or the antibody test. The most common one is the RT-PCR. It's also called reverse transcription uh, polymerase chain reaction. It normally is swab, which is normally taken either from the nasal pharynx, the throat, or saliva. It tells you whether you have COVID-19 or coronavirus at that time or not. The other test which is also popular and available uh, normally in all the hospitals and laboratories is the COVID-19 antibody test. The limitation with this test is, uh, due to the fact that it only investigates or tests the antibodies which are present, it cannot tell you for sure whether you have COVID-19 COVID infection at the present time, but will tell you whether you were exposed to COVID-19 infection. So this is when COVID-19 uh, infections, to how it's going to be diagnosed. When to do it is once you have any symptoms which are relevant to COVID-19 or you have an exposure, a very close exposure to COVID positive patient, then you must do your test for finding out whether you're COVID-19 positive or not. Now moving on, what are the investigations one needs to have? There's loads of investigations which could be done that ranges from simple blood tests, some special blood tests, a chest x-ray, a CT scan, and so forth and so forth. But in this video, we're just gonna mention about the important blood tests you need to do. If you are going to any hospital, they're probably gonna do a range of blood tests, normally between eight to 10. But if you are at home, home quarantine and if you go to your local laboratory or hospital you can get five vital blood tests which will give you as much information as you need to see what the progress is and what investigations other investigation needs to be done and what medication needs to be done let's talk about the blood investigations which normally will happen when you go to a hospital the first one and the most common one is called cbc also the complete name is complete blood count uh, important test, very simple, straightforward test, but gives you a lot of information. First of all, it gives you whether you have infection by looking at your WBC or white blood cell count. It ranges, it includes 10 of 12 other tests within the CBC, but the other two important ones are the hemoglobin level and the platelets level. The hemoglobin level tells you uh, if you are anemic or not. The reason anemia is important because if somebody is anemic, they have low oxygen carrying capacity, which again makes a person very lethargic, very drowsy, and short of breath. Hence, it's important to know whether you are anemic or not. If you are, then we can give you some medications and you can take some iron tablets depending on what level you have. Now platelets is important because platelets are also a good indicator whether your blood is prone to bleeding or not. So that's CBC, which probably going to be done everywhere when you end up. The second part of tests are twofold, which are renal function test, RFT, or liver function test, LFTs. It's very important to know what your kidneys and the liver functions are because if a patient gets worse with COVID-19 infections, what we generally tend to see, they have involvement of the kidneys and the livers. So it's important to know what your renal function and liver functions are. The other tests which are normally routinely done are the look at your salts or electrolytes levels, such as important ones are sodium and potassium. Again, it's important to know what your levels are because any imbalance of sodium and potassium can lead, can lead to a range of symptoms such as dizziness, drowsiness, confusion, and most importantly, they can affect your heart. Further on, the other tests such as clotting function. Clotting function tests include INR and D-dimer. The INR tells you, international normalization ratio, normally tells you how prone you are to bleed. Now, d is a very important test in the context of COVID-19 because when somebody has a COVID-19 infection, the blood, blood test generally tends to be thick. Now, with thickness comes the risk of having a clot. Now, that clot could be either in the lungs or in the legs. Now, d will give you an indication whether you have, whether you are prone to have that clot. d itself 
Vladimir Tershik, but it will not tell you uh, whether you definitely have the clock. Along with the gamma, it's important to know the clinical picture of the patient, such as what is his respiratory rate, what is his heart rate, and most importantly, what his oxygen saturation is. So, a real state data test, along with some clinical findings, will tell you um, whether you need to do some other investigations, such as a CT scan of the chest. Some other tests and special tests which the hospital might ask you to do is CRP or C reactive protein or ferritin or LDH levels. Then again, all these three CRP, ferritin, and LDH will tell whether there is presence of infection or not. Why is it important to find out whether there is infection or not? Is whether we need to start the patient on antibiotics will be decided on the levels of these tests. Now these are some tests, some additional tests which can happen in the hospital are some more electrolyte salt test testing, such as magnesium, phosphate levels, and calcium levels. A troponin is a test which we are generally tend, generally tend to do in COVID-19 patients because we are generally seeing that these patients, some of these patients start having inflammation or swelling around the heart. So troponin gives an indication of whether that's happening or not. So these are approximately 10 to 12 tests which could happen in the hospital but if you self-quarantine in the home you can still go to the lab and get to important five tests so what are those five tests which will give you an indication and show uh, watch out the progress of the disease while you're at home the recommendations are a cbc complete blood count a renal function a liver function test routine electrolytes a CRP and a D-dimer. These are the old, or these are very limited five tests which one can go up to a laboratory or a hospital and get it done and then go back to the home to self-quarantine. And one thing to remember is it's important to repeating these tests to see whether there's any progression of the disease or whether there's improvement or not. Now all the descriptions of these tests I mentioned in the descriptions below. Uh, I've also given my uh, WhatsApp contact number, if so anybody wants to have advice, I'm available. Um, please subscribe to the channel and pass on this information because it's important for those patients who are at home, have limited um, ability of facilities available to them because as we all discussed before, uh, hospital beds are very limited. So we need to make sure we pass on the critical information to patients who are at home quarantine. Thank you very much.